Okay, I've got clear weather. That means I can think about doing some fiberglass. All right, is this definitely what I want to do with this boat? I think so, fo show, fo show, fo show. All right, let's make some sail parts. I've got mast pieces and parts and sheet metal. Yeah, I think I have everything. Oh, it's so nice out today. Look at that. Okay, I better mention, because I didn't write this down, uh, for two solar panels side by side like this, it needs to be one meter that way and 276 centimeters across the whole thing. So two meters, 76 centimeters, at least. You can go over a little bit more, that's fine. But one meter actually leaves me like a centimeter of extra space, which is good. Okay. I also need to get myself into a positive mind frame. Because this will go so much better if I'm, if, I'm, if I'm thinking right. If I'm frustrated, I'm just gonna oh, make a mess and stuff. Someone visited me this morning and just used up all my patience. I need to tell her to stop doing that. All right, let's, let's get it together, Jamie. Oh, come on. All right, all right, I'm, I'm ready to go now. Okay, good, yeah, let's do it. Okay, sheet metal, hopefully this thing is long enough. As long as it's supposed to be. It looks there for the moment. First, the guys at the store bent it and stepped on it with a rod. Oh, man. I'm trying to ask the guys at the store to not bend the sheet metal and put dents in it is like. I don't know. It's like asking a fish to fly. Yeah, that's probably not gonna happen, sir. I'm sorry. All right, I think I need to bend the ends so that, all right, this is gonna be supported <laughs> with a curve at two sides like that. The ends, if they don't have anything supporting them, the whole thing is just gonna warp a lot. So if I put a 90 degree angle, on the ends, that'll keep them straight, and the whole thing should have a good shape. Um, I guess I can bend one end, put the whole thing in the wood, and then I can do the other end. Because I don't want to do both ends now in case I don't get it the right distance. All right, I'll bend one of these ends. Need to get some of these creases out. Too bad now. Locks oh, right there. Just gotta screw up my sails. Ooh. Making your way in the world today takes everything you got. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Let's get confirmation this is actually long enough. Should be right about there. I can bend it. More or less. I brought this hoping it would be useful for this part here.
need to attach this piece of wood on top and that one under. Which one's going to be easier first? I don't think it matters. Maybe I'll flip it over and do the top one first. And then when I flip it back, that's it'll stay that way. And then screw the... Yeah. And I brought a screwy thing and some screws. Oh, cool, just like in the picture, pretty much. Yeah. Ah, my sheet metal has a little bit of creasiness in it, but not too bad. Close enough. Creases. No way I could get an uncreased sheet of metal unless I bought a whole new roll. Hmm. Maybe I should do that. Except if I'm gonna do that, I need stainless. Hold on a second. Yeah, I think I need another screw there. One down there. Don't be dried out. Please don't be dried out. Please don't be dried out. Ooh, nice. All right, I'll wax that thing with this stuff. I feel like I need to get a skateboard out here. Hope this thing will get destroyed by that. Get the piece of wood first. I went over the metal part twice and the wood part three times. Should be, <laughs> should be pretty stick resistant. That's what I'm trying to say. I didn't bring anything to cut fiberglass. Well, I guess I can go get those mast parts now. It's probably a good thing. Give this a chance to dry. Oh, it looks about right. A bunch of pieces up there that go all up in there, and then an extra little strip for the edges. Edges, we don't need no stinking edges. I think I used about a gallon of resin on that. That's peeling off pretty easy too, good. My wax is working. All right, looks, looks like it's going pretty smoothly. I'll let it harden a little more before I pull the whole thing off. Wait, how many of these do I need? 12 solar panels. Yeah, I need six of these. Oh, well, that doesn't sound so bad. And then the mast will come straight through. There will be three of these for one sail, and then the mast will go through the middle. And the mast will be strong. It'll be three inches across, like seven and a half centimeters. Uh, fiberglass, so it's strong. And that's what'll keep the, the sails from, you know, wiggling that way. It'll be a rigid pole, like securely attached to all of them. <clears throat> Usually I have two fiberglass things going at any point in time so that while I'm waiting for one to harden, I can work on the other one. Although I decided 
that I wasn't going to bring the masked stuff over here because I just want to work on one thing at a time. And, uh, I don't know, it's, I end up getting less messy that way because the other way is definitely faster, but I end up, I just end up getting more messy fiberglass on me and stuff. Right now I'm totally clean. Just did that calmly and smoothly and didn't make a mess of myself. So nice.